There are many fascinating um, things about Bertha Wilson's life, and there are many reasons why she was successful. She was determined, she was intelligent, uh, but she also had time. She had a supportive husband, and she didn't have children. She wasn't distracted from working. I'm not saying I have children, I love having children, but you know, there are competing tensions in people's lives, and she was able to focus entirely on the law. But she became, she went on the Supreme Court just at the time that the Charter of Rights and Freedoms were made into law. So a lot of those cases, this was 82, a lot of those cases that came before the courts were charter cases. And she was instrumental in thinking about them, in presenting, not, I mean, she obviously was a woman, so she had that kind of perspective that when it came to issues such as a woman's right to choose, whether she should terminate uh, an unwanted pregnancy, spousal abuse as a defense for manslaughter, all sorts of things. Also, a refugee claimant's right to be heard. All of these things were key decisions that Bertha Wilson was very, very important in drafting. She had a persuasive pen, and she wrote many, many of those judgments. She also could apparently be very stubborn and difficult, but what's wrong with that, as I say? <laughs> But she really is an interesting person in terms of some of the fundamental values that have developed in this country. So that's why I wanted to include her. Um, and I think knowing some details about her life helps put some of these judgments and how they were arrived at into a context. 